If you have been watching my YouTube videos regularly, then you must have heard me saying multiple times solve PYQs because PYQs are so important for your exams. But I have noticed and also realized that even if students solve PYQs, they are unable to mark the correct answer if a question is asked from PYQ in the exam. So in this video, I am going to share with you four methods on how to correctly solve PYQs. And after watching this video and provided you do as I say, two things are going to happen. First of all, you're not going to miss a single PYQ if it gets asked in your upcoming AIPGT exam. And second, this is going to affect your rank significantly. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Taha Khan. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share with you clinic and exam related productivity tips and strategies. If this is your first time here, start now by subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. So the first thing, the first step that you need to do is to understand the difference between PYQ and PYT. Take example of this question. If one child, this is an AIPGT 2023 question. So if one child receives all the doses of vitamin A as per national immunization schedule since birth, Till 5 years of age, he or she will receive total vitamin A means what is the total amount of or the total quantity of vitamin A that the child will receive. So this is a previous year question. Okay. But the PYT is vitamin A. National immunization schedule. You all know that this is a question from community medicine. Okay. So under community medicine, you have questions or the topics are vitamin A and the national immunization schedule. Okay. So these are the PYTs or another question that was asked from Materia Medica was which of the following medicines has bloody saliva. And this was a question from Borix Materia Medica. So which of the following medicines have bloody saliva and there were few options given like crocus sativa was there, natramur was there and few other options were there. So bloody saliva. So that was the previous year question, but the topic was bloody saliva and all these medicines that were in the options. Okay. Now, if you have understood what is the difference between a PYQ and a PYT previous year question is just a question. But a previous year topic are the topics from where the questions are picked or the options are picked. So that was step one. In step two, what you need to do is create a list of all the topics from where the questions were picked or the options were picked. For example, in this question, the subject is community medicine. So I'm going to give a heading of community medicine. And under this, I will write down all the topics. For example, vitamin A, national immunization schedule. Because you see what happens this year, AIPG 2023, there was a question from national immunization schedule about vitamin A. Tomorrow in AIPG 2024, they may not ask about vitamin A, but they may ask a different question from national immunization schedule like how many doses of DPT is given or what are the types of polio vaccines. Okay. Also, you need to notice the number of times a particular topic is picked. For example, in AIPGD 2023, if you go through organ of medicine, two questions has been asked from local maladies. So from organ of medicine, if two questions are asked from local maladies, we can give it a three star means that local maladies are a favorite of the examiners. They are asking more and more questions from local maladies. So what you need to do, you need to study local maladies more and more. Or in the question of Materia Medica that I was saying, bloody saliva, that was the question and the topics that you need to write down is bloody saliva. What is the nature of saliva in crocus saliva, in natromure and all the four options, all the four medicines that were given in the, in the options. What was the nature? What is the nature of saliva? Okay. Bloody saliva is in just one question, but there will be another kind of saliva. For example, visit saliva will be there in other. So you need to know what is the type of saliva in all the options also. Okay. So this is a step two, creating the topic. Now, before going on to the step three, here are the four methods, the four correct methods to solve PYQs. 
द फर्स्ट मेथड इज ओनली सॉल्व पी वाई क्यू ओके नाउ वेयर आर यू गोना गेट ऑल द पी वाई क्यू ओके देर आर फ्यू प्लेसेस वेर यू विल फाइंड पी वाई क्यू द फर्स्ट प्लेस इज इन द टेलीग्राम चैनल ऑफ पल्स कोचिंग ओके इन टेलीग्राम जस्ट टाइप पल्स कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट यू विल फाइंड इट्स टेलीग्राम चैनल in there all the previous year aipgt papers have been uploaded you can download them you can print them okay so this is the first place from where you can get the previous year's papers the second place is in the pulse app in the pulse app under previous year's papers you will find all the aipgt papers from 2017 until 2023 the third place is mcq books for example in success book volume 4 okay at the back of volume 4 of success book you can also find the previous year questions okay so the first method is to solve previous year questions now what you need to do is you need to just go through question by question 1 to 20 1 to 20 of each and every year and try to remember the answer okay and how you are going to solve you are going to attempt that paper okay you are going to set a timer and you are going to try to attempt that paper the drawback of following this method 1 is that you are not going to remember these previous year questions you can remember it until for maybe a week or 10 days but after that you will forget it but the upside is that you will be able to solve all p by qs because it is not going to take a lot of time and if you solve it multiple times then there are less chances that you forget okay the link to this success book i'll mention in the description of the video and also this telegram channel i'll try to mention in the description of the video so that was method 1 before moving on to the next method there is a quick announcement that my module 3 of comparative materia medica course is ready and uploaded you can find the purchase and the discount link in the description of this video and i'll also be starting live classes on materia medica drug by drug and all these classes are going to be absolutely free so the details of all these classes will be shared in the telegram group the link of that telegram group i'll put in the description of this video method 2 is solve all pyqs then review it later so what you are doing you are solving all the pyqs at once okay from 2017 to 2023 and then after that you are reviewing it later or you can do that okay first year like 2017 pyq you are solving and then you are reviewing it then 2018 you are solving then reviewing it 2019 then reviewing it okay so if you even if you are doing this way the upside or the positive thing to that is first of all you will learn time management because you are attempting these papers just like this method 1 you are setting a timer and you are attempting this paper the second advantage is that all your pyqs will be completed the downside to this method is that it is going to take too long to review if you solve pyq it may take around 2 hours just to solve pyq but if you are reviewing it it may take you around 5 hours to review so around 7 hours even if you are doing it every day see for aipg 2024 you don't have that much of time left correct so you cannot review one paper every week maybe you will have to review it every day or probably there are in total seven papers from 2017 to 2023 there are in total seven papers okay so even if you are doing it every day one entire week your one entire week will go just in solving previous year questions and reviewing it okay so these are the positives and negatives of solving using method number 2 now coming to method number 3 which is solving plus reviewing okay means going reviewing basically means going through the explanation for example that for example that organon of medicine question that i was saying from local maladies so you go through that previous year question you know the answer you get to know the answer and then open up dozen and go through that aphorism that aphorism is probably aphorism 203 
So you go through that aphorism and see for yourself that yes, this line has been mentioned in aphorism 203, which was asked in your exam. So that is reviewing. Now in method three, what you are doing is you are solving one question and then reviewing it. Solving question number two, then again reviewing it. Then solving question, the third question and reviewing it. So you are solving and reviewing one question at a time. Now the good thing about this method is you are solving one question and then and then you are going through its explanation. For example, there was a question in AIPG 2023 from gynecology was that what is the current sequence of secretion of hormones during menstruation and the options were like GnRH, FSH, LH, progesterone, these were the options. Okay. Now you solve, if you are doing by this method, you solve that question, you go through the explanation. Okay. Go to that menstruation chapter and go through the entire explanation. How this hormone the hormone part of menstruation, what are the hormones and when are these hormones released? What are the factors that triggers the release of these hormones? So that is how you follow method number three. But the disadvantage of following method number three is that it is going to take too much time. It is going to take so much time that you may not even complete your PYQs because if you solve one question, and then go through the explanation of that question. It may take you like, for example, five minutes. Okay. So if you allot five minutes to each and every question, how many questions are there? 120 to seven, that is 840 questions. So if you allot five minutes to each question, you may end up not completing all the previous year AIPGT papers. Next, lastly, the method number four, which is solving plus reviewing plus PYT previous year topic. Now what you are doing in this fourth method is you are solving one question that for example, this immunization. Okay. So you're solving this question of immunization. Then you are reviewing it. You are going through the explanation that yes, vitamin A, how many doses, how many total dosage of vitamin A is recommended for to be given in national immunization schedule. And after that, after going through the explanation, what you are doing is you are analyzing PYT. You are also doing simultaneously this thing. You are analyzing. In analyzing what you are doing, you are going through this national immunization schedule. Okay. Like I said that today they have asked a question about vitamin A. Tomorrow they may ask you another question from this national immunization schedule. So you are going through that entire topic. Now, obviously, this is going to consume a lot of time. This may take you one question may take around 15 minutes. But the upside is that you have not just solved a PYQ, but you have also solved a PYT. And what this is going to do is tomorrow, since this topic is important for exam, this much you have understood. Suppose this topic gets picked tomorrow in the exam, there will be least chance that you are going to miss this question from this topic because you have not just known the question and the answer, but you have also studied that topic. So as you can see a step one or method one, two, three, four, as you move from one to four, the difficulty level increases. Okay. Method one is very easy. Method two is a bit difficult. Method, me, method three is more difficult. It is going to, so it is going to take more time and method four is going to take maximum time. Okay. So depending upon your preparation level, I have discussed all these methods. Now, which method you are going to follow depends upon your preparation because there isn't much time left for the exam. So depending upon your level of preparation, if you see that if you have time, to go and analyze the previous year topics, follow method number four. If you don't have time to analyze, follow method number three. If you absolutely have no time, you have a lot of things to study, then just do method number one. So these were the four methods that will help you correctly solve PYQs. Now we have done up to step two. Now what is step three? In a step three, when are you going to solve PYQs? So when? Are you going to solve the PYQs? See early morning when you wake up, you do revisions because your mind is fresh. You, you have that energy level. So study or revise, but late morning means 
around 11 am around 12 pm what you're going to do is this solve pyqs and pyts and always remember that pyt is more important than pyq so there are 120 paper uh, questions seven papers 840 questions in total even if you are doing 20 mcqs per day it is going to take you around 42 days to complete this PYQ and if each question is taking you around 10 minutes means 20 min 200 minutes you are investing each day that comes to roughly around 3.5 hours or three and a half hours so understand or make a routine that every day for around three and a half to four hours you are going to solve this PYT and PYQ Okay, because if you are investing this time, nah, see, you are also, you are just not just solving PYQ, you are also studying that topic. And lastly, the fourth step, which is step four is how many times there are students who will ask this question, how many times you need to solve this PYQ? How many times? So, if you are solving from method number one so if it is method number one at least solve for five to six times because if you are following method one and you are not solving five to six times take it that you are not gonna remember because in out of 120 questions now nah, maybe 80 questions 90 questions or max to max 100 questions you are gonna remember but the last 20 questions are gonna be very difficult maybe those questions you have never heard of those topics you have never studied so you are just mugging those topics you are just mugging up those questions and these questions you will forget so to put these questions into your long term memory revise at least five to six times next if you are solving by method number two and three if you are following this method then solve at least two to three times and lastly if you are following this method which is method number four you just need to solve once because solving only once by method number four is gonna put all the questions all the pyts into your long-term memory and of course you need to revise this pyts okay so these were the methods that i wanted to discuss on solving pyqs make sure try at least try to follow this fourth method because I don't want anyone to miss a PYQ if it is asked in your next AIPGT exam. Let me know how you like the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends and I'll see you in the next.